Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to be revisiting making some DaVinci Resolve timers in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.2 or whatever version it is right now. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So I made a, a bunch of timers that are still available on my website, but some other things have changed in DaVinci Resolve. So I want to revisit showing you and re-educating you on how to make timers yourself because I'm making a bunch of other videos going into the new year. We're going to be redoing, revamping our countdown timer at the beginning of service, um, repurposing that honestly dead time to do any different types of things of announcements, um, uh, uh, e-host and everything like that. So we're just building on all these tools and we're going to be referencing them as we go deeper down the rabbit hole. So let's go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to try and do this on one screen to make it easy. Um, and there's a bunch of people who do these type of tutorials as well, too. So not trying to steal from them in any way, shape or form. But I want to kind of do this, you know, how we do it with a swing um, towards media ministries. All right. So let's go ahead and cut over to our desktop here. All right. And... I'm going to start from scratch because here's my ABC News, not ABC, that, but Antioch Baptist Church News that we're working on. But let's go ahead and make a new one um, and we'll say timer. And I'm actually going to give you a link to some fonts that are free to use that I really like how they um, show off. Really cool. So let me turn off my dual screen here so that we can be on one screen make all this easier to do instead of me bouncing around all right so let's go over here to our edit tab and what we're gonna do is we're going to use one of our the text plus functions let's go ahead and drag this out here and what I like to do is just drag this out and we're gonna make a 15 minute timer I highly recommend you do something longer than five minutes um, because we're going to do this for 15 to break out for our intro and everything like that for our live stream. So I'm going to find, move my cursor over here to 15 minutes. And sometimes it all depends. I've had to add an extra second for some odd reason. This counter acts up. But anyway, I'm going to have this at, um, 15 minutes and one second. And I'm going to press the M key to make a marker. And now I'm just going to drag all of my assets out to that time. So it's going to be for the length of what we're going to do. All right, let's click on our text here. And we're going to right click in here in the inspector. You can click this down arrow to take up the entire screen. If you want, make it easier. We're going to right click in here and we're going to come down to time code. And here we go. Now, there are other folks that have said that you can use this right on here to erase some of the stuff but when i played around with this it didn't produce what i really wanted so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this little fusion button right here and it's going to take us over here and we're going to go to modifiers now and we're going to uncheck that we don't want hours we don't want frames we just want minutes and seconds that's it that's all we're going to do all right so now let's come back over here to edit and we got it the way we want. Now, let's come in here and let's pick whatever type of font that we want. And like I said, I downloaded a couple of ones, like these digital ones here, I really like. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with this one, All right? And of course, you can change the color, do all this other stuff if you wanted to. And the other thing, let's go back over here to our Fusion stuff. And we're going to go in, go to tools, going to go to, was it settings? Where is it that? I keep forgetting. Oh, it's in shading. Um, come over here and we're going to go to item number three, 
which is our drop shadow or black shadow. I'm going to enable that. And that gives me my shadow behind here. All right. Not, I'm not a fusion expert, but I like making these changes here. Me personally. Um, but that is your choice. All right. So we got our stuff here. All right. So if we move it along, as you can see, it goes up to our time. Even though we're at 15 minutes and one second, it ends on one. I mean, it ends at zero, which is good. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to right click on this and make this a new compound clip. We're going to call this our timer. And it's like, hey, AJ, we can't make any more changes to this because now it's locked. All right. So you can't change the font. You can't change the color. Well, actually, you could change the color, but you can't change the font based off of this. So be mindful that you pick exactly what you do. I mean, you can always hit Control Z to undo and you can come back in here. But, you know, you got to be careful how far you go down in making changes here. So make sure you got the font exactly the way you want it, because once we do this, you can't go back. All right. So we're just going to make it back into a compound clip again and countdown timer. All right. Now it's counting up, which is not what we want to do. All we got to do is right click on this, go to change clip speed, and we're just going to reverse speed. And now it's counting down. Really, really simple. All right. So you can make this as long as you want. But again, I'm focusing on 15 minutes because this is how long our countdown timer is. And again, it's transparent, which is really awesome. So if I happen to want to come over here and use like a background or something like that. And let's see, where's my resolve folder right there, backgrounds. And then I can say I have this loop drone footage when I flew to the church. So as you can see, goes right over top of it really nicely. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more thing here. I'm going to start this off big. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to, and I know this isn't a part of the timer, but I'm going to show you this anyway, because I think it's kind of cool. So we're going to fade in my graphic here, but we want to put some animation here on our timer. So we're going to start it here, select our timer. We're going to click on this star here for our transform so we can start making some animations in here. We want to lock it to this position. I want to come in right at about five seconds. Let me drag this over here with my arrow because I'm missing it here. So right here at five seconds, I want to do a keyframe here. That's what that's called. So it's going to keep the zoom position angle everything the same for five seconds. Now we're going to move forward another four, three seconds and we're going to make another keyframe, but we're going to resize all of this because I want this to shrink down and be in the bottom corner of our screen. So let's say 0.5. Yeah, that's big enough. And then I want this to be positioned right here. All right, and that's it. So now if we go back here and maybe let's, let's add a little fade right there at the beginning. 15, all right, so we come in, we start playing it. Boom, there we go. And if we wait a couple of seconds, boom, there we go, we move right there. So that's something, so the idea for me in using this timer. This timer is going to stay in the lower right hand corner and this is going to be our countdown until we go live. So I have this whole blanket time here so that we can do something like that. So that's really, really it. Very simple, very straightforward. And I'm going to show you how you can use this in different, actually implement it in different ways. You could easily take this and put this inside of, um, um, OBS as a green screen that I've done before and other um, downloads of timers. Actually, I think it's about time we came up with some some more timers that we sell. So maybe I'll put some more out there with different fonts as well, too. Let me know down below what times y'all are looking for. 
Because, again, I'm completely transparent showing you how to make them. But if you don't want to make them, I will make them available on my website, ajhomes.com. And you can always get some other ones as well, too. I normally do between five, uh, what, 60 seconds all the way up to an hour. So we can do something like that. Really simple. And I think I will do that. I think I'll call that a bundle number three because I haven't made any content like that in a while for y'all. Make it a little bit easier for you. But please stay tuned for all the other videos we're going to do because we're going to be building on top of this on how to make um, some really cool uses of this to spice up your live stream. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. And we will see you on the next video later.